Good evening, everyone. My name is Todd Gloria, and I am the California State Assembly member for the 78th District, and I am the mayor-elect of the city of San Diego. I'd like to thank Superintendent Cindy Martin, as well as our Board of Education, for the opportunity to join you all this evening for San Diego Unified School District's State of the District Address. Some of you may know that I am a proud product of San Diego Unified, and I mean that quite literally. My parents both graduated from Claremont High School. They raised my brother and me in the neighborhood of Claremont, where we attended Hawthorne Elementary School, as well as Madison High School. It was at Madison uh, that I became uh, the JROTC Brigade Commander, and where I was elected to be the student body president. And when I was 10 years old, while attending Hawthorne Elementary, I was a runner-up in the Mayor for the Day contest. Now, little did I know uh, that many, many years later uh, that I would become the actual elected mayor of the city, becoming the first person of color to hold this job, as well as the first out gay man to serve in this job. And I share that because I hope that this accomplishment is a signal to all of our students, but particularly our students of color and our LGBTQ youth, that there is a place for you here in this city if you're willing to work hard. And working hard is what this last year has been about. Because of the unexpected global pandemic, our students had to overcome great adversity when it comes to their education. And fittingly, one of the themes of San Diego Unified for the coming year is Unstoppable SD. In the midst of this crisis, stakeholders from across our city have worked together in an unstoppable fashion to fulfill the needs of our students. And let me give you a couple of quick examples. The more than 80,000 Chromebooks that were funded by voter approved bonds so that students could keep learning from home. The free internet access and the Wi-Fi hotspots provided by Cox Communications for families who lack internet access at home. The more than 7 million meals passed out by San Diego Unified's food services in partnership with Feeding San Diego and the San Diego Food Bank. That's absolutely incredible. And most recently, the announcement that COVID-19 testing will be conducted by UC San Diego Health for our students and for our school district employees in an effort to keep our schools safe as they gradually uh, return to in-person instruction. This type of collaboration illustrates the absolute best of our city and the importance of coming together to tackle big problems. I believe that we are setting a model for other school districts throughout the state and the nation to follow. And although the pandemic is not over and that we will surely face additional obstacles in the months ahead, I know that San Diegans will step up and do whatever it takes to ensure that our students are not left behind. I know that this has not been easy. I know that it'll continue to not be easy. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our principals, our teachers, and our district employees for your tenacity and your flexibility as we adapt to this new environment. I wanna say thank you to the parents and the guardians and the families who have done everything they can to make sure that our students can learn safely from home. And most importantly, to the future of our city, I'd like to thank our students for your continuing hard work each and every day. I want you to know that your city needs you. We need you to continue to learn and to study hard and to work hard because your city is counting on you. I want you all to know that we are all in this together. And yet our city is determined to make sure that our students succeed and that we are in fact unstoppable. Thank you all for what you are doing. Thank you for supporting public education in San Diego.